Still got snow and it's still pretty out. So I'm actually gonna be taking Rosine this morning. We're gonna do a little bit of a conversation on the topic of what our next truck is going to be and what you guys would like to see done to it. But first, I gotta get this ammo can out of here. And we're gonna get Rosine cold started up here real quick. Smoky, <laughs> super smoky. But you gotta love cold start season for these old trucks. It's just, it doesn't get old. On the road, Rosine's been warming up about 10 minutes now, so I think we're, I think we should be good to go. So we're gonna get on the road here, get on over to my dad's property actually, and we're gonna go over a couple of things regarding not this truck, but one just like it. I think Nasty Red's back. And really quick, you were down to the last three days to enter to win the 1992 12-valve first gen Cummins plus $5,000 cash. So if you haven't done so yet, hit the link in the description, go to lmpgear.com, buy anything off the store, and you're automatically entered times 10 right now. We brought 10X entries in for the last few days of the giveaway. So this is our final deal to get entered and your last chance. You're running out of time. And also, just as a little added thing, we'll throw cash in every single order of place today. So if you haven't done that yet, get in. Don't waste any time. That truck in five grand could be yours. So I've got Nasty Red sitting right over here behind me to my side. But before we get to showing you Nasty Red and the new setup on that thing real quick, we're going to go over the next truck that we're picking up for the channel for you guys to basically help us out with building and specking out. The truck is a 2001 24 valve Cummins. And at this current point, we are planning on buying this truck. He sent us tons of video, tons of pictures, tons of everything. Seems like a really, really, really great deal, really great truck. He watches the videos, all that stuff. He said, I wouldn't lie to you, man. I'm being extremely honest with you. And he, he told me everything about the truck. Sounds amazing. So it's an 01 24 valve extended cab short bed and the truck's low mileage, leather interior, no rips, no tears, I mean, no rust. I mean, the truck's amazing looking. This is what we're planning on doing for the next truck to build for you guys. The reason I'm driving Rosine today is because I wanna to try to get a feel for you guys so we can try to get some parts on order to start coming in for this thing. The things that we gotta talk about is A, what you guys wanna see on that truck in terms of suspension. Just so you guys can have an idea of what this truck is set up on. It's a five inch rough country lift with a two and a half inch front spacer up on top of the lift. So the truck has a total clearance of seven ish, seven and a half ish inches of increased clearance on the front end. It does have a five inch lift in the rear end as well. And so the truck sits very nicely to me. It is kind of on an incline actually right here because it kind of gravel kind of builds up to the the concrete on the barn. Um, it looks like it's squatting a little bit on this angle, but if I flipped it around the other way, you would look like it's breaking down a little bit. So, I, I mean, the truck sits pretty darn level, but of course it just kind of depends on your preference and what you like and what you don't like. But for me personally, I like the look of this. And if it were my option, I would probably have the next truck done kind of like this one. I really like the setup. I like all the clearance. I like the suspension. And I think it just gives these trucks such an aggressive, crazy, in-your-face, like, stance and appearance coming down the road. And it just makes them look so freaking mean. I want to ask you guys, what do you want to see on that truck in terms of suspension? I know you haven't seen the truck yet. Would you want to see a big lift like Rosine? or would you rather see something small, kind of along the lines of more like a leveling kit? I just wanna hear your guys' thoughts on that and what you guys are thinking. And then in terms of wheels and tires, the truck's color is silver. So it's kind of a cool color option because it could go either way. You could do a forged or chrome style wheel. You could do a black on wheel. You could do a black and silver milled accent wheel, kind of like this. And it would pretty much look great either way just because it's silver just kind of Almost anything can tie with it to make it look good. It's an easy color to work with versus some colors are more sensitive to certain styles and certain colors of wheels. What would you say and why? And then in terms of tire, what should you do? Should we do big all-terrain tire that's wide and stance? 
Should we do more tire, less wheel, go more old school, kind of like what we did with the Frosty project and we put the 38s and the 16 by 10s on there? Let me know down in the comments below for the wheels, and tires, and the suspension on a truck like this, but silver in a short bed. What should we do in terms of power to the truck. Now the truck, I don't believe has anything done to it under the hood. He might have said something about the injectors being swapped out at some point. I, maybe I'm thinking of a different truck, but I thought he said maybe the injectors were changed out at one point and it has a new injection pump on it. And no, it's not a 53 block truck. It's a 55 block truck. But in terms of power, I'm pretty sure it's stock power for the most part. I don't think there's really anything done to it other than exhaust. So pretty much the platform is ready for whatever we would like to do to it in terms of power under the hood. Now for some of these things, we're just gonna have to wait and see the truck to explain, but suspension wheels and tires and you know stuff like that, you guys can pretty much assume what you like based on this body style truck and that color combo. Now the rest of the truck, there's some small things that I would probably prefer to change out. Some headlights, tail lights, the bumper. Not sure if I'm a huge fan of the one that's on it right now, but we can talk about that later because I'm not gonna try to explain what every single detail in the truck is so you guys can try to figure it out when you can't actually see it. But for suspension wheels and tires, I wouldn't mind getting those on order. We're supposed to pick the truck up in a few days. I'd like to get that thing here and get it building and get it going quick. And boom, we've got Nasty Red here. Nasty Red is back. Nasty Red has been kind of um, in and out of the picture for a little while here. Nasty Red finally got the plow put on the truck. It's got the plow mount and the proper wiring and the plow hooked up now. And this is the work truck. I mean, this is the work truck around the farm. Dad uses a King Ranch on and off for some stuff, but for the most part, this is the truck that he plans on keeping as a work truck truck so it's got 145 ish thousand miles on it it's got compound turbos it's got bigger injectors and all sorts of stuff head studs and everything in between truck makes probably i want to say 500 ish horsepower give or take it's got a fast fuel system on it all kinds of goodies so he's had this plow for a while he got it uh, locally it was actually used on a commercial truck and then they trade him in like every couple of years and he got this one it was hardly used but he's had it probably I want to say five or six years now. Finally got it hooked up to Nasty Red. He didn't really want to put it on his King Ranch just because he doesn't want to use it as the plow truck. You know, he kind of had mixed feelings about doing it with this truck as well, but he can't not use any of his trucks. He's got to use some of them for something that they're meant for. So he's got this, which is awesome. We've got the LED pods in the bumper that actually kind of work out to kind of shoot on either side of the plow mount for the most part to kind of give them some extra lighting and those things are freaking bright. Got LEDs in the headlights. You can see those there. We put the little Cummins badge in there. I thought that was kind of neat. I actually got that idea from uh, B-Rax on Instagram, B-Rax 12E. If you're sure a lot of you guys that are second gen fanatics on Instagram, you've probably seen his stuff floating around. That's where I got the idea for those headlights with a little emblem in there. It's got the flatbed, the gooseneck. I mean, this is just a work truck. I mean, it is, it's his work truck. That's what it's set up for. That's the way that he wanted this thing to be built. He's got the huge track bars. He's got the airbags in the rear. I mean, this thing is just, it's just made to work. I mean, that's all it was built for and that's all he's gonna use it for. It's one heck of a truck though, that's for sure. How do you guys feel about plow trucks? What's your opinion on putting a plow on this truck? He's pretty much kind of planned on doing it for a while, but we're finally getting snow. So he just had it up there when he saw it in the forecast. And he said, I want that thing done so that hopefully we can finally get some good snow and I can actually use my plow because he hasn't used it in a long time. The 7.3 that he used to have used to be his plow truck and then that got totaled that we really didn't even have any snow for like two years almost. And then we got this back on and ready to go just in time. Well, I just got done going for a little stroll along the edge of the fields while checking a couple of trail cameras. Didn't see any deer. I'm gonna wrap the video up here if I get some cool footage of my brother and I spot and stock hunting at our Ohio property this afternoon. I'll throw it in here. If we don't, I won't. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Let me know what you wanna see done with the next 24 valve in terms of suspension wheels and tires so we can get those ordered and on the way. The rest of gen, hopefully we are picking that thing up tomorrow so you can see that in tomorrow's video. We can get that on the way. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget, four days left to enter to win the rest of gen and that giveaway is gone. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.